looks like it's open. Good. Oh, very cool. All right, let's take this. That's always fun. So we're not going to get too technical. Oh, come on. That tank bag kind of sliding around. So, I know, uh, I haven't done a lot of, uh, I haven't done any videos off-road in a long time. And a lot of that's just because uh, I'm still having a hard time with the effects of COVID on my lungs. Um, yeah, you can even hear me breathing hard now. So, uh, some of the videos I'm doing now is just kind of easy stuff. Not like I used to. Uh, for one, I don't really trust myself like I used to um, as far as being able to lift the bike out of bad situations or uh, do really rough roads by myself so wow this is pretty back here pretty let's ride back to that lake if we can and uh, yeah so that's kind of why uh, a lot of the videos lately well like the Death Valley one, the one you haven't even seen yet. Um, they're kind of easy going. Um, yeah, I'm just not in shape, so I don't have the confidence I once did. Wow, this is a nice treat. Good road for the DR. Forks are a little choppy, but you know what? I can adjust that out. I, all I got to do is soften the uh, compression. Wow, this is beautiful back here. Huh. <laughs> oh, Grandpa's going to sit down. So. I'm glad I came back here. Very cool. Yeah, I looked this up years a year ago, years ago. But, yeah, I'm hoping with a little bit of time, um, I'll regain my uh, lung capacity and such. Wow, this is beautiful back here. Huh, close the gate if you go through. Very cool. We're just going to ride across this little meadow thing. No idea what that is. This is a uh, 9206 Forest Road. 9206. Wow. Huh. Wow, feels good. Okay. I'm actually going to stop up here. Yeah, so the bike's working good. Um, the fork conversion has been fantastic. Uh, I know I got the graphics. Eh, it's not that expensive. But uh, I felt the... I felt they were, the, they were deserving for... Uh, the bike uh, it's kind of a special dr650 to me now and uh yeah kind of a limited edition thing but uh for you some of you guys who don't know i've done that or what i've done is uh i had the cogent dropping cartridges springs in my stock forks um they work good uh, but i stumbled across literally stumbled across a blown up DRZ 400 Supermoto and uh, so I picked that up for 500 bucks and um, you know it came with everything you see here the headlight mount that's my old all the yellow is my old stuff but uh, it came with like the headlight mount uh, triple clamps forks and the larger rotor on the front brake and so I just did the conversion um, 
you know a lot of people probably think I'm really rich which I'm totally not but uh, yeah so it was a free conversion kind of like on my XR650 when I bought that other bike for 1100 then swapped the upside down stuff and all the good stuff to it and I sold the other one for uh, 25 so yeah I have upside downs on my dual sport but they were free you know so that's all I gotta say about that but uh, yeah going with the D sports I want to try something if these work out good for about a year you know or 5,000 miles whatever I'll probably just keep running them um, but yeah I'm happy with the action with the Ford conversion I got the larger supermoto front brake all I had to, and I'm running the DRZ 421 inch front wheel and that's my DR650 brake caliper with a DRZ 400 brake caliper mount that bolts onto the uh, uh, lower fork assembly. Uh, this brake line sticks up a little bit, but it's actually off of a, a DRZ 400 Supermoto. And uh, same with the turn signals. And because I wanted it to look factory, I didn't want it to look kind of like ghetto or anything. So I just kind of kept with the stock look, kind of like I did on my XR650. Um, yeah, I mean, if you were to walk into a dealer or something like that, it would look pretty much, you know, like factory. Um, yeah, I like the adjustability of it. I like the stiffness in the steering. Um, you know, I still got the rubber mount handlebar clamps. And, uh, yeah, everything's good there. So... That's what I did on that. And then uh, this is my, I think, one of the first big rides since the tail tidy thing. So that's doing good. And I got my little Thule bag in the back here. So, yeah, it's just getting out for a day ride. And uh, we're going to hop on this thing. There's a couple rocks up here. I'll check it out. If not, we'll just spin it around. This was a beautiful little uh, trail. And uh, uh, we'll head back home. Because I'm kind of done for the day. <laughs> so, so anyway. And then uh, the other thing I did was I was able to find uh, this DRZ400 instrument cluster. For, I was it, 225 or something like that. In good shape. Really good shape. And um, so I put that on. But before I had this, I had modified the original round uh, dial speedometer to work on here. In fact, I had it kind of centered up because I like that better than even this one. Suzuki seems to offset everything to the right. So anyway, uh, yeah, those are the updates on the bike. Uh, the old girl runs good. And uh, I don't know what time it is. It's uh, 10 after 4, so we're going to run down this trail a little bit. And, you know, it's one of those things where maybe it's count your blessings. The uh, Fossil Creek Road was being repaired, but, you know, it's, usually it's a fairly smooth road. So, yeah, let's go see where we're going to go, and then let's get home. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep the cameras going. But, yeah, this is actually very cool back here. <laughs> and the reason I was going to bring the XR, years ago I was going to try and uh, shoot on back in here and uh, kind of see a different perspective of it, of the, uh, the Fossil Creek Road. And so I was going to bring the XR because it was my beastly off-road bike at the time. But uh, DR is uh, quite a bit better than it used to be. And... Uh, so, if you see the front end, just know it cost me nothing. Um, for the fact I bought that bike, the blown up uh, DRZ400 for 500, and I sold the wheels for 500. So, how about that, huh? And then uh, I've sold a few other parts since then. So, all this has been free. The other parts I've sold is paid for my uh, digital instrumentation. Too bad the bike didn't have it, but uh, I can't. Beggars can't be choosers. Huh? So. Oh goodness! Yeah, what a beautiful day. Yeah, I can see where they say this is an unimproved road. 
for a four-wheeler would be horrible for a bike. You can pick your way through pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat. And I think we're going to go up here and turn around because I don't want to get down this hill. We'll save this for the new improved, Dave. Yeah, beautiful back here, though. Huh. Wow, well, let's go a little bit farther. <laughs> Smooth them out. Yeah, you can see it goes all the way back there, and the uh, Fossil Creek area is back that way. So, yeah. Whew. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I don't know. So, I think it's come and go to old Grandpa Dave here. Yeah, I definitely don't want to ride down this silly thing. Oh, okay. And there's part of the uh, the burned area, I guess. From the fire they had come through. I don't know if you guys can see it with these cameras. But yeah, there's a burned area here. And they got a bunch of cut trees out over there. And... Uh, if it was pre-COVID days, and I was on the XR, I would go down there because after you get past the burn area, there's a two-track that goes up over that hill. And I think once up over that hill, then you can start seeing the uh, Fossil Creek area. But for today, as I'm planning my escape, we're going to scram, Sam. All right. <laughs> ah, she's nimble. And, you know, that's the thing. People don't realize that when you put the upside downs on, you gain a lot in your steering. The preciseness of it. There's no flex. So. Kind of stair steps back up. That's kind of cool. Look at that line, huh? I saw that line from way over there. Probably thought I was in a drunken stupor. <laughs> so, but uh, no, I saw that line. I go, dang, I need to be on that side. Yeah, and one thing with the conversion, they uh, they take the same bearings on the steering stem. So, uh, this pretty much all the DRZ400 Supermoto stuff is a bolt-on swap. But I was, like I said, I was uh, fat, dumb, and happy with my uh, cogent stuff. I had zero complaints. This is just kind of one of those things, you know, it's like, wow, upside down's on a DR? Why not? As long as it doesn't cost me anything. There we go. Yeah, and I know the old day would be uh, going a little bit faster, but look at this. Beautiful. I'm just glad to be out anymore. Beautiful. <laughs> 